Hey YouTube, it's me, Chetta. I am here to do a update on my relaxed hair and to give you what my routine will be. I think I might have touched on it before, but I actually revised it based on um, in the past when I've been relaxed and how I do my hair. Um, I know even being when I was natural, my hair could not be manipulated a lot. So um for any of those who haven't seen like videos way way back these frames are from zini optical basically all you need to do is get your prescription from your um eye doctor and go to the website and put all the information pick your frames put all the information in single vision frame lenses are free if you have bifocals or a stronger prescription your lenses may cost more so these frames i believe were either $12.99 or $24.99 then shipping is only like $4.95 so for a whole set of glasses with lenses because I have single vision it didn't cost me that much and I've bought several different pairs from one at least four pairs this is well one of the four anyway back to my hair so I am about um let me get my calendar because I think I'm like three weeks post getting ready to be four this weekend I didn't drop my calendar. Anyway, um, I just turned this past Friday three weeks post. So this coming Friday the 6th, I'll be four weeks post relaxer. And my hair is actually in a little bun. So when I said, um, I put it in a protective style. I moisturized my hair last night with um, this here. Elastic QP olive oil mango water. Which I just found out today watching... A youtuber's video um i think it's so fresh diamond watching her video that this is a protein moisturizer so now i think i found the culprit of why my hair has been breaking off because i haven't relaxed my hair in three years so i think because using this daily even i was using it some you know some weeks every other day and coating it with my coconut oil sealing it in i think this might have been breaking my hair so i did go by um <clears throat> an actual moisturizing um moisturizer so i don't have to worry about my hair breaking but anyway my routine as of coming since i've relaxed my hair i've been washing my hair every week and deep conditioning the first week i uh, used a protein conditioner the last two weeks i've used a um moisturizing conditioner uh so come this week and because I noticed the breakage from this, uh, prior to me in 2009 and 2010 when I was relaxing, I was using Afogee products. I have been watching YouTube people back from Atia to other people um, that use Afogee now and years ago. I'm going to go back to Afogee. Um, when I first did the Big Chop, I was using Afogee and my hair liked it. So I'm going back to Afogee because... I know your hair sheds, but I wasn't getting any any breakage. I'm getting breakage, I think, because of the again, I've been overloading on this because I found out it's a protein conditioner. Well, at least I'm gonna do some more research. But someone said on they um that they would listen to all the moisturizers that you could use or they, that they've used. Actually, I think it's so fresh diamond I seen where she put that this is a protein and I can't keep using that. So, in order, starting every two weeks this Friday. Um, instead of washing my hair weekly like I've been doing the last three weeks, I'm going to do it bi-weekly because that's what I used to do because my hair can't take a lot of manipulation. I'm going to be using Afogee Shampoo for Damaged Hair. This is $4.99 in my local beauty supply for 16 ounces. I'm going to um, stock up on this. This is a full jar, but I will be stocking up on that. Because um, come January, because I don't really have to experiment per se with products because my hair is not natural. And I can kind of, even though my hair has been out of the loop of being relaxed, I believe I can kind of go back to what I used to use. And I don't have to experiment with products. And if I do, it'll be one product at a time. And I have, since I've been relaxed, been more consistent with documenting what's going on with my hair. The only thing I can see is some breakage. Because every time I, when I have my hair wrap comb it out or comb through it just to moisturize it, I see some hairs that are broken. And then some that are just regular shedding. 
Um, I'm going to talk about this. This is the two minute care, the keratin two minute reconstructive. This is a light protein um, treatment. It's $4.99 as well for eight ounces at my local beauty supply. So I'll be using this probably every time I wash. Um, I will be doing, uh, but I'll talk about that later. I will be doing the actual two, using the two step. Uh, protein treatment every six weeks, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, so after I shampoo with that and then do the two-minute reconstructor, of course, I'll take my wide tooth comb that I don't have present, but I'll take my wide tooth shower comb, comb through my hair, then I'll spray this, which is a keratin and green tea reconstructor. My hair used to love this. And then after I spray my hair with that, I will go ahead and my hair loves this. This is the Pro Vitamin Leave In, which is eight ounces for three ninety nine. They do have a bigger container. I believe it's the sixteen ounce, and the sixteen ounce, if I'm not mistaken, is um. I wrote it down, so I'm just looking at my notebook here. Eight ninety nine. But that one I believe is in a pour bottle like this, so I'll probably buy that and just pour it in here so I can spray it. So then, after I do my hair like that, now I did say in a previous video that I'm probably going to try not to use heat, but for my hair, I'm not really fond of air drying. I have air dried and then blow dried and got a nice, um, look, I've seen some people like a tea. I've watched her videos in the past when I was, first started using Apogee a couple of years ago, back in 2009 and 10, where she air dries her hair for like 30 minutes and then... She blow dries it the rest of the way with a hand blow dryer, or she sits up on her dryer for a little while, her hood dryer, and then she blow dries it the rest of the way. So, um, I usually like my hair wrapped, so I'll probably be wrapping it and get back under the dryer, which means I will probably only be putting heat in my hair twice a month, unless I need to flat iron or I want big curls, a bouncy, bouncy value to my, um, to my wrap. But Tia, I know she basically. When she does her wrap, she'll, if she blow dries her hair, she'll flat iron it. And then she'll go ahead and then curl her hair with her one inch or one and a half, fourth inch curling iron. And then wrap her hair to hold the bit so she gets volume. So I'll probably be doing that, but not too often. So after I put the leave-in in, I'll use the BB foam wrap. I believe I got this from Sally's. I forgot how much it costs at Sally's. I know I think it's cheaper at the beauty supply. So I'll be using this one. And the ORS one. I don't have the ORS one because I have this and I just, this is the one I purchased when I relaxed my hair. The ORS one, I believe it's $5.99, but I'll be switching between those two. And then what I'll do, I'll switch between those. I will um, wrap my hair up. My phone is falling. I will wrap my hair. And then... I didn't bring it out here, but my heat protectant that I've been using that I like so far is the Silk Elements uh, Olive Oil Mega Silk Heat Protectant. I do want to try the IC Fantasia. I priced that one. The little small itty bitty like travel size is $4.99 and then the bigger size is $8.99. So I'll be going between the uh, IC Fantasia and that was in like in a pinkish reddish jar. I'll be going between the IC Fantasia and the um, Silk Elements Spray. That is for when I flat iron or um, curl my hair, but I do use the Silk Element Spray when I um, basically wrap my head after it's wrapped, I spray it around the perimeter, and I get up under the dryer. Now, deep conditioning. When I do shampoo, I didn't talk about that. I did talk about the keratin. Let me go back. I'll probably still be doing the keratin, or if I if not. If I need moisture, the last time I washed my hair this week, past uh, Friday, I used the Elastic QP Intense. This is $3.99. I put some of this in a bowl and mixed it with my oils, which I just squirted from my oil mix, which is avocado oil, Jamaican black castor oil, um, coconut oils in here, the African pride growth oils in here. And I think some tea tree oil and I mix it up and I did add to the book conditioner bowl a little bit more Jamaican black castor oil and then I put this on my hair, um, put a cap on and then I kept it in for like two hours and then I 
rinsed it out. If I want to, I bought this, I believe, when I was re. I don't think I was, I was still natural. This is the Elastic QP Organic Soy Fusion Protein, Ultra Hydration Protein Deep Conditioner. It's $4.99. I'll be switching between these two as far as a protein conditioner. Um, or if I need the moisture. I probably won't be using this as much, even though I know I got like... A fourth of a well less about half a little less than half of a jar left i probably won't be using this that often unless i have not gone out and replenished my two minute keratin two minute um reconstructor so i probably won't be using the soy oil one for a minute because i want to use those to get my hair back healthy and less breakage um what else i was going to talk about Oh yeah, I said I was going to use the ORS, so I also got the ORS. This is $4.99 for 8.5 ounces. I'll be using this going forward to moisturize my hair, opposed to using the Elastic QP moisturizer, because like I said, I'm going to do more research, but it's a protein and my hair don't need that. Um, I've had these products when I was natural. I like um, liquid leave-in, so besides using... The Afrogee Pro Vitamin Leave-In. I also have my Jane Carter's. I got this from the Vitamin Shop. It was on sale for $6.79. And I believe it retails at $7.99 there. So, but, but currently right now, I'm going to stick with using just all the Afrogee. The Jane Carter, again, this will be back up. Um, in case I run out and haven't been to the store to replenish my Afrogee. Um, as far as um, leave-ins... I want a creamy leave-in as well. I've been seeing people that been using Neutrogena Triple Moisture or Garnier Fructis leave-in. I currently have these from when I was natural. The Eden Body Works Coconut Shea. I got this from Sally's. This is probably a little bit more expensive than Sally's. I don't remember the price. And the Paul Mitchell. This is the generic version that Sally's has. It's the Paul Mitchell, the conditioner. This is actually, I think, $6.99. And I got it for like five fifty nine, I believe, or six fifty nine. Cause you know, if you get the Sally's cards, you get a discount. And this is sixteen ounces. So this conditioner, because it's a leave-in for me, the generic version of the Paul Mitchell is cheaper, and you get more. So this is what I'll be using as a creamy leave-in if I don't use my spray leave-ins, or I may even use it as a, um, a moisturizer and then seal it with. My coconut oil. This is Spectrum, but I think I'm going to use Neutral Life or it's another brand I wanted to try. I've had this for a while. This is $8.99. I got this from the vitamin shop. And you see how much I got left because a little of this coconut oil goes a long way. And I've been pouring it in my oil mixtures and everything. Um, uh oh. With my pony, well, my ponytail to hold my size down, I am a person that uses gel. I still have, uh, uh I think it's a 16 ounce. Or 32 ounce container of the Eco Style Argan Oil Gel. It got for the beauty supply for $3.99. I don't think I'll be using that because it wasn't drying to my natural hair, but I know I don't want nothing in my relaxed hair to dry it out. So to slick my hair down, it's a brand new toothbrush. It was like a from a Dollar Tree. I used to smooth on my edges. You remember when I was, if you saw previous videos when I was locking my hair, I used the uh, Joey my gel So I was using this and this is almost gone because I was locking with it and when I do When uh, the bay doesn't go to the shop when I rebraid her hair I use in my joy gel but when I bought this I bought two so I have another whole container in there and I've only seen this online so a little goes a long way and I just stick my toothbrush in there and rub it back and put some on there and then remove the excess and then just put it on my edges so pretty much that is what I'll be doing for going forward to I want my hair to grow right now. My hair probably comes right here in the back and the front probably comes like right here. But my goal is healthy hair. I know with healthy hair comes length. Uh I do have a goal. I think I talked to you guys about that before, but it kind of changed. Um I want bra strap length because I know hair doesn't grow that fast. 
by the end of 2014. If I get beyond bra strap length before the end of 20 by the end of 2014, that's fine. But my goal is bra strap length. Um, my next touch up because I'm gonna I've never ever touched my hair up. This you know I never took a stretch. When I was uh, relaxing in the past, anytime I saw a wave or some new growth, oh, because I like my head to be bone straight. Oh, no, got to fix it, got to fix it, got to fix it. So when I was younger, every four weeks, instead of every six to eight weeks, every four weeks, I was relaxing my hair. And so no, and back when I went, did the big chop, my hair was already short because I have been cutting my hair. It wasn't damaged, but I just wanted to go natural. But prior to that, I was over-processing my hair. So... I did my relaxer November 9th. I will be doing my touch-up only on my roots, which will be 10 weeks post on the 17th of January. I'll be 10 weeks post. Um, but before I do that, I am going to give myself a good protein treatment. I'm going to go get the uh, two-step and the balanced moisturizer from Aphigy and do that the week before. And I know you're supposed to do that. I used to use that in the past. So I know you're supposed to do that every six weeks or the week before you relax it. So I'll do it probably January 10th, which is the week before I'm going to relax uh, my hair. And then I'm going to do my next stretch for 12 weeks, which will be three months. I've never, ever went three months and not had a relaxer. So I think besides doing the protein treatment January 10th, There'll be one more time before my relaxer. If I stretch, if I count correctly, April 11th will be 12 weeks post from January 17th when I do my touch up. So it'll only be one time in between January 17th and April 11th that I'll do a protein treatment because the sixth week will be on April 11th, or so pretty much that week that I need to do another protein treatment. But then I would have done one six weeks earlier. And then. I can't do it the week before because it would have been too soon to do it. So I relax my hair then and then count from then six weeks out to do a protein treatment because of the fact that I'm going to take my next stretch again 12 weeks. So pretty much, um, which is mm, something I've never done, I'm probably starting in January. I will be um, relaxing my hair four times a year. Usually I relax my hair 12 times a month, 12 times a year because I would do it, I would say 8 to 12 times a year because every four weeks or so when I saw new growth, I didn't like it. I didn't like all the ways because the ways and the straight part, now I know how to deal with my texture because I've been natural for almost three, I was natural for almost three years. I know how to deal with my texture. I know what to use on my hair too. Now I'm still watching videos. I'm getting ready to um, subscribe to some hair blogs like kiss and hair lista so i know and i've been watching videos what i can use on my um new growth to soften it up as i go through this stretch to keep my hair from breaking and all this other stuff so now before i didn't know how to do all that before i didn't know about youtube way back then when i got the new growth i was just like oh i need it bone straight now i know how to deal with it and know how to deal with my texture i know what to do so i'll be doing that um what else did i want to talk about now, I also want to think about st stretching past 12 weeks. I'm not sure. It would depend what state my hair in uh, at the time. But if other than that, I'm not going to try to stretch past 12 weeks because that's already a stretch for me from what I used to do in the past. So I'm not going to go beyond 12 weeks. If I do it because something happened in my life that caused it to stretch where I didn't have time to relax my hair. Um... And basically at night, what I'll be doing daily is moisturizing, sealing. And currently, I'm going to be moisturizing with this and my coconut oil. And either putting it back in a protective style, like this, this little bun here, or putting it in, um, wrapping it back up if I'm wearing it wrapped at that time. Um, I am going to be changing relaxers. Um... I like Optimum. I like Dark and Lovely. I did start off with the Dark and Lovely Healthy Gloss 5 when I did my relaxer in November. But I will be going to purchase the Optimum Amla Legend brand uh, price. That's a little bit more pricey. It's like $10. And then I also want to get um, the Legend the uh, Oil, which is $10 as well. I, in the, in the 
future I'll probably integrate one one product at a time the shampoo so once I get my hair to a healthy state with the Afogee I'll probably just go to a regular shampoo that may be the ORS aloe shampoo or it may be the optimum uh, shampoo that comes with the optimum legend um, um, relaxer not sure yet but for I want to say at least till six weeks after my next relaxer which is in January I'm going to be using Afogee and then I'll integrate either like I said the ORS or the uh, optimum shampoo in not sure which way I want to go but I will be um, more consistent with document every time I integrate a new product what my how my hair reacts to it so far all these products I've shown you some of them I've used when I was um, natural and I'm going to continue to use them they work for me at this point in time right now like I said the only thing I do believe that may have caused me some breakage would be protein overload if in fact for real that this elastic UP olive and mango butter is protein it's too much protein in my hair so I gotta switch it up other than that um, I'll probably do a video again I'm not really sure um, probably after my results or after I've done my um, protein treatment and then when I do my protein treatment, so I'll probably do a couple of videos in January. This month, I'm probably not going to, this is going to be the only video I'll probably do this month because really there's no change to my hair. I just relax my hair. So on the 9th, it'll be a month, if you know, if you count day-wise. Um, next Monday will be a month that I've had a relax in my hair, so there's no real change in my hair. Um, I'm going to try to keep it in a protective style or wrapped. Other than that, um, I'll do probably two or three videos in January. And like I said, um, I'll show the results after I have relaxed my hair. Because there's tons of videos on how people relax their hair, the process. There's tons of videos out there on how people um, do the protein treatment. So I'm not going to make a video. I've made tutorial videos partial tutorial videos in the past of how I do my hair but these things are all repetitive I'm just probably going to be documenting um the length of my hair and um things like that and really quickly this is my ponytail I don't know if you guys can see it I just took the band out and um I gotta go purchase one of me those um length check t-shirts um i know amazon sells them but then i seen them on hair lista um her cloak her website for uh, purchasing uh t-shirts they have it. it's a little it's a bike it's a little cheaper on there so i'll probably go on there and purchase um either a t-shirt or tank top that has the um inches in the back so i can keep track of where my hair is when i get that shirt i will actually um show you my hair uh i'll probably make a, a video for that one when i get it to show you my hair uh the length it is now and then do it again after i relax my hair to see if there's been any change since i relaxed my hair uh other than that youtube this video i think it's been the longest video i've done but i will talk to you guys later and enjoy your holidays